Hey, welcome back Hedgehog class. So we've been very busy haven't we this week starting to write our own story of the innovation of Little Red Riding Hood. Now so far we've written the opening and we've written the setting part of our story. So I'm going to read back what I've written so at first because it's always important to make sure we read our writing back especially when we're carrying on the next day so we can remember where we're up to. So I've got Little Purple Peter lived with his mother. One day, he took some food to his grandma. Little Purple Peter wandered through the deep, dark forest. On the way, he met a woodcutter. OK, so now I need to go back to my story planner and have a look at what I need to do next. So, I ticked it yesterday, didn't I? To say I've done the opening, I've done the setting, now I can tick that. Oh, now it's the problem part of the story. So the problem in our story, let's think about what the problem is. It is the big bad wolf is dressed up as grandma, isn't he? So grandma isn't there at the moment. The big bad wolf's in bed pretending to be grandma. Okay, so I need to have a think about what I'm going to write for the problem of my story. So the problem is that at grandma's house the big bad wolf's there isn't he dressed up as grandma and what does he want to do to purple peter he wants to eat him so for my problem part of the story i'm going to write at grandma's house a big bad wolf was dressed up as grandma and tried to eat purple peter so at grandma's house Big bad wolf was, that's one of our tricky words, isn't it? Looks like was dressed up as grandma and tried to eat purple Peter. Let me read my sentence back, check it makes sense. At Grandma's house, a big bad wolf was dressed up as Grandma and tried to eat Purple Peter. My goodness me, that is a problem. So now I want you to write the problem part of your story. Remember to think about what you want to write. Practice saying your sentence out loud before you write it using your phonics. <laughs> 